If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and share. It helps the channel out. Let's get into the video. So, we now have the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S in our homes for almost two months now and so far I'm impressed. But we're in a new year with new games. So that means this is my top 10 most anticipated video games of 2021 that are releasing on Xbox. Now, if a game doesn't make the list, that doesn't mean I'm not looking forward to it. That just means I couldn't squeeze it into the top 10. And also, I'm only listing games that have confirmed release windows. So things like Hellblade 2, and Perfect Dark, stuff like that, that won't be in the video. Simply because there's no confirmed release date. And also, there will be no Mass Effect Legendary Edition because again, no remasters are going in the list. Anyway, I hope everyone enjoys the video. Let's go. Beaches. So how about we just go kill some rip? Nice pep talk. Ha ah, damn! Here we go! At number 10 we have. Back for Blood. This is Turtle Rock's new game, the developers of the Left 4 Dead series. And this looks like it's going to offer what we've wanted for the past decade. And this offers more zombies on screen at any given time. There's more enemy types. You can upgrade weapons. It's overall just a bigger, better game. Can't wait for it. At number 9 we have The Medium, a psychological horror game set in an abandoned resort. You use psychological powers to uncover the truth, mysteries and solve puzzles. The gameplay is very much inspired by games like Silent Hill and even the composer was behind the original Silent Hill soundtrack. And this game takes advantage of the Xbox series architecture. So you're going to have dual reality gameplay where you see the underworld or the dead world at the same time as the real world really unique it's new it's fresh and it just generally looks like a new fresh cool horror game and now we go to our first ever live feed aboard the SA Balding Eagle on her maiden voyage through the Milky Way are we there yet? I need to eat a dump. We're live. <laughs> what? Oh no, harvesters, they're attacking the ship. Who among this brave and disciplined crew will stop these terrifying <laughs> space parasites? At number eight, we have minimal effect. Now, Going off the name and what the game looks like, it's pretty crystal clear why I'm looking forward to this game. And the thing is, the developers are being open about this game. It's a very self-aware parody on some very popular sci-fi franchises. And Minimal Effect is a sci-fi third-person shooter RPG, and it looks awesome. Luis Torres, I've seen your future. Global risk is get off the weapon. At number seven, we have the Crossfire X campaign developed by Remedy. Now, when I first heard that they were making a military FPS, my interest peaked because while I do lean towards open world RPGs, I really enjoy military first person shooter campaigns. And Remedy can make interesting stories. And this is set between massive superpowers having a conflict and private militaries using advanced technology. It looks like it's going to be a good one. This is a crisis supernova. The Ascent Group has collapsed. We have a shot at true independence. I won't let it go to waste. At number six, we have The Ascent. It's a action RPG set in a dark, gritty cyberpunk world where corporations and hostile gangs run the world. And you have to discover what happened and how did things get as bad as they are. The game has co-op as well, as well as the ability to upgrade your characters through different armor pieces and weapons. Looks really cool.
At number five, we have Flight Simulator 2020. Now this comes to Xbox series consoles in the summer. And frankly, this has to be one of the most ambitious projects on this scale ever. The detail in this game is just so accurate to real life. People are posting comparisons on social media all the time, and it's just spot on. This has to be the most realistic looking game ever made. There's going to be all these different peripherals that you can use on your Xbox, including honeycomb, flight stick and throttles. And yeah, it's going to be a good one when it comes to console. We awoke from one nightmare into another. Not on our dying earth, but somewhere much worse. At number four, we have Outriders. This is People Can Fly's new IP. And this is a third person shooter RPG set on the alien planet Anok. And this is a full experience. This isn't a live service. This isn't a games as a service. This isn't a shared world, you know, game with MMO elements. No, this is a full on RPG. Hell, the game even arrives with all of its post main campaign content on the disc 14 expeditions. And if you want a single player sci-fi RPG and not wanting any of that shared world stuff, you're really going to want to need this game because it looks fantastic. Every corridor, every portrait, every stone in this castle tells the story of witches and wizards who came before. At number 3 we have Hogwarts Legacy, a single player RPG developed by Warner Brothers. And this game looks amazing because we never see games like this. And you know you go to your lessons, you learn new spells and you fight fantastical beasts and uncover mysteries while fighting you know, dark magic wielding foes. And this is the developer's biggest game to date. And it looks like they're going to knock it out of the park. And we still don't know a lot about the game. But so far, off the small trailer we have, it looks amazing. And some stuff I have seen that isn't public looks even better. I think more people should look forward to this. Number two, we have Gotham Knights. Set in a new Gotham City, Batman is gone. And a new expensive crime syndicate has taken over Gotham City. Now you play as the Bat Family in this game. You play as Red Hood, Batgirl, Nightwing, and Robin. And the game looks fantastic. I mean, this is Warner Brothers Montreal's new game. And they haven't had a fresh open world game like this in a long time and the thing about Warner Brothers Montreal is they know how to make some of the best boss battles that's one of the main reasons I'm excited for this game and with this being a new Gotham it opens up so many possibilities and this game isn't a live service game what people think this is an open world RPG now you can play this in co-op with one other person if you want but outside of that it's a story driven RPG enemies have levels now Areas have different leveled enemies. It's it's an RPG, but it's DC. And frankly, Warner Brothers Montreal can pull this off. It's it looks so good. Like we got the the CGI trailer, and then minutes later we got the gameplay trailer. And the thing is about Warner Brothers, their games are fantastic. And frankly, this is one of my most anticipated games of the year. As you can tell, it's a number two, and. To be number two, it just goes to show how much faith I have in Warner Brothers Montreal because they make stellar games. And that's just a fact. No! No! No, 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 no! This isn't happening. I'm going to have to make an emergency landing. 
And at number one, we have Halo Infinite. When it comes to new Halo games, I always look forward to the new stuff. And if they take the campaign element of four, the multiplayer element of five, they're going to have an amazing package. And look, I've been a Halo fan since day one. And I think it was crystal clear this was always going to be number one. It was hard to whittle down this list to ten. Uh, but there are many more games I'm looking forward to, so if the game didn't make the list, chances are I'm still really looking forward to it. Uh, but, let me know what yours are in the comments down below, and let me know on Twitter. My Twitter will be in the description down below. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and share, it helps the channel out. Like, hit the bell for notifications and all that stuff. I have a lot of big plans for this channel, and we're just starting 2021 on the gaming side here, and I have a lot. A lot of interesting stuff planned. And if you want positive gaming news, positive Xbox stuff, I've got you covered. No clickbait, no fluff, no cringe. Anyway, I hope everyone has a great year.